two men appeared in court after being arrested for bulldozing their way into the state house, demanding to see President Emerson Numingagwa. The incident has heightened coup fears and raised questions about security at the presidential residence. Felix Tagarasi Miguriai, 40, one of the men arrested last month, claimed he was Mingagwa's father. Maguriai was apprehended on the spot, and police recovered a pistol magazine, a toy firearm, and a shambok among other possessions. The second man, Michael Kaniya, 29, appeared before a Harare magistrate facing charges of unlawful possession of dangerous drugs. On May 22, 2024, Kaniya, driving an unregistered Toyota Fortuner, attempted to enter the state house to discuss personal problems with the president. A search of his vehicle revealed a sachet of cocaine and nine empty sachets with cocaine residue. Kanyia, who has been seen in various photos with the Mingagwa and the Mugabe brothers, was denied bail and is scheduled to return to court on June 12. Maguriai's arrest followed an incident on May 7, when he allegedly forced his way into the state house. Arriving in a Toyota Hilux Raider, Maguriai parked at the visitor's entrance and began dancing in front of a police officer stationed there. Claiming he was the president's father, he demanded to see Umingagwa before forcing his way into the yard. A subsequent search of Maguriai's vehicle uncovered a pistol magazine, four rounds of ammunition, a handheld bow phone communication radio, a burnt bulb extract, a bunch of keys, a shambok, and a toy firearm. The incidents have sparked concern over the security protocols at the state house and the potential threats to President Mingagwa's safety.